Yeah, absolutely. And you and I spent hours talking on road trips about nutrition. Uh, and this was 10 years ago. And even even a lot's changed since then. Um, give me the basics for a kid on nutrition and sleep, what they should be uh, aiming for. Absolutely. Yeah, I just posted this to my Instagram uh, not too long ago. Um, and uh, Dr. Sherry Ma, she, she's a, a sleep sleep science researcher. And she did what was called the Stanford basketball study. And, and basically in a nutshell, they encouraged the athletes to try to get like an additional hour of sleep as best they could. And, and then they, they took, you know, statistics on their free throws and three point shooting percentage, that sort of thing. And so that additional 30, 45, 60 minutes made a tremendous impact on their ability to, to score and shoot. And, and so as a young athlete, and then I'll, I'll, ta- I'll put on top of this too, there is, an, there is a research study by the American Academy of Pediatrics, I could send it over to if you want, um, that shows that athletes that, take, that get regularly less than seven hours of sleep are significantly higher risk of injury than those that are not. And, and they were measuring that against several other variables of like, well, Maybe the kids are playing too much. There's too many games. There's too many workouts and practices. But they found within that study that significant, you know, seven hours or less on a regular basis, that was the major factor of increasing injury risk. And so I was like, man, that's a big one. That's a big one. And that's got to be a conversation because you just, you know, I living in the DC metro area and knowing how competitive athletics are here, not only athletics, but academics super competitive. Man, a lot of these kids are not sleeping seven hours. They might be lucky to get six because some of these schools require three hours of homework a night. And then you got to perform on the quarter field. And then, you know, it's not always easy to get your homework done right after school. You might up be up, up, might be up till 12 or one o'clock. Got to get back up at 637. Not, a lot of these kids are not getting enough sleep. You know, they're just not. So I would say, hey, look, kids, if you can if you can shoot for a minimum of eight, that's ideal. And I'm always I've always been a fan of sleeping versus being the, the kid who's got to get up at 5 a.m. to do the the grinding workouts. Right. You know, hey, check me out. I'm up here at 5 a.m. I'm working while you're sleeping. It sounds good in in, in the short term. Mm-hmm. It's not a long term play. It's not a long term play. I can appreciate the motivation and the intention, but. If you're so busy that you can't do what you need to do later in the day, then maybe you're just too busy for basketball, you know? So, um, so sleep's number one. 